Let me ask you guys a question. In what world does it make sense where when a South Korean uh, state-owned or otherwise media outlet, South Korean propaganda agencies say that North Korea, the North Korean army, might have a missile capable of delivering a nuclear warhead. Again, a missile is not a weapon in and of itself. You have to have the warhead on it to make it a weapon. Uh, so they might have a missile that could potentially, if they wanted to, reach Guam, which is barely part of the United States. I'm not trying to disparage people from Guam, but is you know, it has a lot of military strategy. There's a few people there. Uh, we make them fight, but we don't let them fucking vote. So yeah, they might be able to shoot Guam. In what world does all that telephone line nonsense where it's a propaganda agency and it's it's not reliable sources but it's South Korea saying that North Korea said it and it's uh, not a not a warhead but a missile it's something capable of carrying a web a, a, a warhead in what world does that all line up to Kim Jong Il said he's gonna, Kim Jong Un said he's going to nuke Los Angeles tomorrow and he's got the he's got the missiles pointed at us right now it's who the fuck what in the goddamn fuck he, he never fucking, he never threatened us. Trump and Pence said, Trump during the election and Pence just like two weeks ago, said they would be willing to talk to Kim Jong-un, talk to the North Korean delegation. They went back on their promises. Trump has never met with, uh, with Kim Jong-un. Mike Pence declined to meet with the North Korean delegation in the Olympics. They are not trustworthy men. I know they look like it. Uh, but they're just playing up these threats to justify our continued involvement in supporting the militaries of foreign countries when Trump is supposed to be saying, hey, we're supporting the militaries of all these countries. They're not paying enough money and we should... Well, I don't know why he didn't say get out of NATO, but while we're at it, we should get out of Japan and South Korea and probably a lot of the, you know, the tiny islands that we're occupying in, uh, in the Indian Ocean. Maybe we should fucking get out of Guam while we're at it. Maybe if that's not America, we don't have to deal with it anymore. Let the Guamese defend themselves. There's so many of them already willing to join the military, even though they don't get a vote. Let them defend their own country. Get America out of it. It's like Hawaii. We knew we were pissing Japan off. There's no fucking reason to be involved. We shouldn't even have boats a hundred, more than 100 miles from American shore. That's what got us in the whole mess. In Cuba, the Philippines, Guam, uh, Hawaii, you know, the whole 1890s nonsense, the American imperialism, the jingoism, t fucking Teddy Roosevelt later, all that shit. We got to just stay, keep the damn troops within 100 miles or less of the country. What the fuck is so hard to understand about that? North Korea is no threat to us. Fucking, there were guys in the army who went over to the North Korean side because they're fucking pissed off about America's lies, and one of them even stayed. He's still there today. He's 80 years old. It's a BBC documentary about it. There's people who willingly choose to live in North Korea over America, even after America pays them to fight. It's because America doesn't fucking pay you enough to fight. America can't pay you enough to fight. America doesn't deserve your efforts, your Physical defense efforts are best spent protecting yourself, defending your home, your family, your justly acquired property. Fuck you. North Korea, best Korea.